My old job used to be that I, <laughs> that I would, would deal with anti-social behaviour complaints in um, social housing. Yeah, right? Yeah. So if I got a complaint, people phone me and be like, here, my neighbours playing music too loud or wrecking the place. A situation where you were like, oh shit, I might not get out of this. There was one time, phone's up and she's like, this is going to sound really weird. And I was like, well, you know, I've heard them all. Let me know. She goes, this is going to sound really weird. But I think the garden next door is possessed by the devil. I went, oh. and you just have to almost take a step back and go, all right, well, what makes you think that? And he goes, it's just the way she's getting on. And I was like, all right, okay. It's like, just the way she's getting on. So I said, well, and, and how is what she way getting, are you on? getting on? Yeah. She goes, well, she's screaming. She's going to steal my baby and all. And I was like, well, maybe she just wind you up. You ever, maybe she's just a wee bit up. And she goes, she doesn't sound like a human. And I went, all right. And she goes, I'll get some recordings and let you listen to it. Genuinely, I don't be believe in all like exorcism and demons. I was scared when I heard this. I was like, raw, I will kill you and your baby. And it's a wee small woman. I was like, what the hell's going on? She's recording her through the through wall. Through the wall. And it was very creepy. It didn't sound human. It sounded like a wild animal. I had to go and address this problem with the possessed woman to be like, here, are you possessed with the devil? If you are, could you, you know keep it between the hours of 7 and 11 <laughs> at night? Because, I mean, yeah, don't the council coming out there. So we got to the house and the door was open. The front door was ajar. And I was like, oh, no. And I rang my boss. And I was like, her front door's open. I'm worried about her well-being. Should I go in? Should I phone the police? Whatever. My boss was like, go and check in case she's there. And I go to myself, no. I don't know. What if yeah. she's dead? I don't know if I can meet the heebie-jeebies, right? So I was like, you know what? I'll do it. So at this point, like, you know, I'm, I'm, a, I'm a big sort of man. I can't just be like, you still are there. No, but like at the time, I was like, I, I have to be a real man here. I need to mature up and just go and if I see something, it's a, and I pushed it. And it was just, again, mess everywhere. And I was like, oh, no. What do you say? Do you say anything? I went, hello? Right. Hello? <laughs> so you're about to break into the <laughs> Billy Boys. <laughs> <laughs> hello? And that's, that's, see, that's in, how you in, get in the certain, devil out of something. <laughs> in certain parts of the city, people cannot resist. If you shout, hello, and you know, and that was in that part of the world. Everyone at yeah. Lionel Richie's concert, <laughs> hello? <laughs> <laughs> So you went and, and her house, it's, it's, a, it's a terrace house and you go straight in, into the living room and no sign of her. And I'm like, oh no, what do you do? Then we went to the stairs and I says to the, the guy I'm with, I'm like, should we go upstairs to try to see if she's here? And he was like, yes, we're both like something out of, out of Scooby-Doo, like going around the corner. <laughs> hoping we're not going to see anything, shitting ourselves, right? We go into every room in the house and no sign of her, not, not in the bathroom, not in the, <laughs> in the bedroom. Nowhere. And we're like, right, we'll go back downstairs. And we're in our kitchen. We're looking, around, looking around, going like, and we peeked out the back door and all. And then out of nowhere, she just arrives back with shopping. We're like, fuck are you doing in my kitchen? And we were like, oh, sorry, not something had happened to you in the front door. It's not very possessed by the devil to go no. back with Lord Iceland bags. No, but I was like, she goes, I was like, well, why'd you leave your front door open? She goes, ah, it's just a bit warm. And I was like, that's not a logical explanation. And she was like, why? Really pissed off. We were in her house. We we're like, well, we thought. You might have been mean. So we, and then she was like, nah, I'm clearly not. I got a phone call again. This is how it all starts. Phone rings. I want to complain about my neighbor. I'm like, okay, what's happened? And it was this guy. So the, the, the main character yeah. rings me. I want to complain about my neighbors. What about them? Fucking keep phoning the police on me. I'm like, all right, okay. <laughs> well, I'll go and say, listen, would you knock on the head because you're annoying him? Your man's ringing and he's saying, you keep phoning the police on him. And the dad was like, yeah, I, I am. And I was like, why? And he was, because he's pervert. And I was like, right, okay, well, you know, what's happened? And he was like, well, my wife was in the shower and <laughs> you know, had the window open because, you know, it's a bit steamy, no extractor fan or whatever. Yeah, so she's in the shower and then, you know, his head just cranes around the window, <laughs> you know, like peeking through. And I, again, trying to be diplomatic and trying to like balance it out. I was like, oh, maybe he was just walking past or, you know, he was doing oh, something like the yard. Like, maybe he just looked by and he goes, ah, it's on the first floor, mate. And I was like, ah, yeah, that's a bit of a problem. So I was like, all right, okay. And I said, look, you know, he maybe, was, I don't know what he was doing on the roof, maybe trying to fix something. And then the guy, to be fair, one of the wittiest things anyone's ever said to me, I was like, so what was he doing? And he goes, I don't know for sure. He might've been cleaning a cricket ball. 
I was like, all right. He goes, but I have a fair idea. And I went, right, okay. So I went back in this guy again. And like, first of all, it was weird because his house was not very clean. Right. There was a lot of newspapers everywhere. Like a, he was a hoarder, clearly. Yeah. But he was sort of man in his like fi- late fifties, early sixties, but lived with his mum. Okay. So m- instantly, I'm going in my head. Oh, it's Norman Bates. You know, yeah. it's just kind of a weird <laughs> setup. So I went in. I was like, you know, his mum w- walked in in his living room. His mum sitting on the commode. So I said, to the guy, I was like, look, you know, I don't think it's too appropriate that we're here when your mum's using the toilet. And the guy. He was no idea personal space. He's like, stand here. And he just looked me dead in the eye and goes, if you something to say to me, you can say it in front of her. And I was like, that's not, you know, I have no problem in saying this. It's the fact that she's, and then you look at her and she's going, <laughs> and then you're going yourself on the place. And he was like, hands on hips, all fucking raging. I'm like, what now? I was like, yeah, they, they've said that you were, you were upstairs looking in the bathroom window. And he was like, yeah. I went, well, wh- wh- why were you up there? And he goes, what do you think I was doing up there? And I said, I don't know. That's why I'm asking you what were you doing. And he goes, I was drying carpet, wasn't I? <laughs> and in my head, I was like, I've never heard that as a thing in my life. I was like, what? And I was like, and I, was, I said, right, well, how, how did you get there? And, they, and we were walking out the back and I was like, do you ladder or whatever? He goes, just climb out my bathroom window. And I go into my head, like, why are you doing that? What what carpet do you have that's not on the floor? Like, why are you, you drying carpet? And then he went out and he goes, listen, man, it's my roof. You know what do you want up there? And I was like, no, that's not how it works. You can't. And he goes, well, if you're trying to tell me that I can't be on my roof drying carpet and she's telling me I'm looking around the window, you need to build something, a wall between the two houses to stop because if I'm up there drying carpet, I can't help but look in that window. It's just there. You know, well, just please refrain from drying carpet, you know, on, on the roof. You know, could you not, you know, and he, and he was like, all right, okay. <laughs> I mean, so, it's not a universe. Yeah. He's acting like it's a universal exactly. thing. Like, yeah. oh, you probably have a big yeah. garden where you can yeah. dry your own no, carpet. <laughs> it's okay. You probably so, have a hairdryer, you fancy yeah. partner, do you? <laughs> and then I, I was like, right, okay. And then for a while it went quiet. So I, I phoned the neighbours, like, look, I spoke to him. I don't think he's going to be on the roof for a while. Again, he was adamant that I built some sort of partition between the two houses. And I was like, that's not feasible, it's mad. Yeah. And it uh, went quiet for a while, but again, we had to speak with all our agents as we were speaking with police and stuff and doing it. Like, Listen, it's probably, you know, more your issue than mine if yeah. if there's a, you know, full pervert guy on the roof. And he's like, that's grand. So, a bit of time passed. The phone rings. <laughs> <laughs> it's the dad. He goes, I'll never fucking believe it. And by this point, I'm going to like, try me. You know, I've fucking heard it all, try me. And he goes, he's back on the roof. And I was like, oh, he's probably more fucking carpet to try. And he goes, well, what's he doing up there? And he goes, he's sunbathing. I went, well, you know, it's fair enough. And then he goes, yeah, but he's naked and he's wanking as well. And I was like, oh. So I was like, okay. And I'm just sitting going, how do I, how do I deal with this? How do I address this guy? So I went out to him and... Um, Knock the door so hold again. on, yeah. is this like in public view? Oh, it's it's a house like that in front of like other houses. So he's lying, jacking off on a mat. Like he's forced a single mattress. So I mean, at least when he's doing, it, he's going to be comfortable. You know, yeah. he's not going to lie in the tiles. Yeah. He's lying on a on a mattress. I'm like to him, I'm saying like, what's going on here? And he was like, sunbathing. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, but why are you naked? He was like, just it's my roof, like. And I was, Right, okay. So I said, look, and then at this point, we're like, we want out the back. And I was like, look, see the way that's tilted. You know, you are facing a lot of people. It's totally inappropriate. I said, look, see if you want to sunbathe naked. You've got a a big space with a a, a big back gate. Like, no one can see in. If you're lying on your your back, you know, you can get all the sun you want. No one will see. You'll not be bothering anybody. And he goes to me, are you stupid? (laughs) And at this point, I'm going, maybe. I I could very well be, be stupid. And he goes, do you think... I get as good a tan if I'm lying on the ground than I would on the roof closer to the sun. <laughs> this way I go. Oh. But yeah, he got arrested. Yeah. <laughs> so, Fiddle, or, a fiddler on the roof. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> was just, it was wild, but then to be fair to him, he looked like he'd just been to Mallorca. <laughs> <laughs> very tanned you know from the first time I'd seen him but yeah the most exotic looking guy in McGalbrook I know 